all right so we are back with some more wolf content now this time guys we are using the harley quinn king or the adult wing king chad king himself now if you don't know what he does pretty much once he use once he attacks with his aoe he brings up his shield that it will be from 50 percent of the damage dealt and as you're in the shield you'll get an increased skill damage dealt by 25 percent and you also reduce the enemy damage taken by 100 percent actually really nice now i didn't do this in my last video but i want to explain the gears that i do be using which is attack crit resist on prayer not hp crit resist on thonar attack crit on king and attack defense on run heal now i kind of like this team for the most part because i actually got some good rng i'm not gonna lie to you i had some really really good rng as I was dealing with the wolves, as I was able to do this in like 40 minutes, um, that is really good. Uh, especially when you're using a weird team like this one, um, that is really, really good. Now, if you're using like maybe a proper team, you probably can cut that down by a lot. Like I've seen people say, pretty much speed run. Um, I think it was Doratron who speed run the wolves with like fast go through and stuff like that. It, it is possible. Now, I also want to let people know that, um, sorry if it's like, a little bit um my set is i was recording this because i had turned off my laptop and then i came back recorded and my settings got pretty much reset and i didn't realize it so <laughs> it's gonna stutter a bit in some instances so i apologize for um all that because uh, I'm, I'm literally looking back at it, i'm like oh my god this looks so annoying it just looks ugly but yeah, I fixed my settings, so it's not not gonna stutter. Um, hopefully, in other videos, but this one it, it will do that. So keep that in mind. I warn, I already warned you guys. But I don't want to see in the comments like, "Yo, really? Why does this look like it's stuttering?" All right, I I told you. Blame blame the reset <laughs> my settings. Oh man. I didn't even know like because i was trying to figure out like why is it stuttering i didn't even know that the freaking obs has like the log files and stuff like that um i would try to explain the floor of one but it's super simple all right pretty much you just nuking for the most part it only gets like pretty complicated when you get to like floor two and three where you have to pretty much be precise on your attacks now this is gonna also be kind of where you have to be precise where you have to get rid of the wolf at the both at the same time on this floor which is the last um phase like some people still doesn't some people still don't know that like yo you're supposed to be getting rid of them both at the same time uh, which sounds difficult but it's pretty easy if you know who to go out for um like for the most part you want to try to bring down the white wolf pretty low um, because he's the tankiest out of the the two because i think he has like damage cap while the black wolf doesn't really have a damage cap they so want to try to go out the white, white wolf as much as possible you can see like most of my attacks was literally directed at the white wolf because we want to make sure he is as low as possible and then once we're ready to um get rid of them we gotta make sure they are super super low Either by using your ultimates or your strong skills. Yeah, you can see like it's like stuttering right now. Oh my god, this stuff is so annoying. Seeing it now. <sighs> oh my god, my settings just had to reset as I was recording this. God dang. But yeah i'm just trying to be as careful as possible i trying to bring them both down as you see i'm being very very careful holding my ultimates as much as i can um and the reason why i went for brun heals ultimate because like i want to be full healed so um yeah that's why i did that that's why you, that's why Freya is a unit on here because he has that death ultimate so it's very easy for him to get rid of two wolves at the same time or make it a lot easier to get rid of one wolf which is going to be clutch on the other floors 
now th this is the white wolf floor two um my play here is to try to push for king ultimates after we use our three skills usually i started with three skills because i want king for his attack to get like the attack boost so my shield could be a lot stronger which means i'm gonna take less damage um i feel like this team is pretty solid at defeating floor two um even if you did probably like have like low dupes on characters but i feel like like it, it all depends right it all depends because you could always have like get terrible rng especially if you don't really practice facing off against the wolves as much as probably a person like me do and then man the wolves ap pots are man the ap on the wolves are just so expensive like after today i'm probably done with like wolf videos from now um because i gotta i gotta prepare myself mentally to um farm up gold because i'm trying to push for like 10 million box cc i've been really meaning to push for that but you saw right there i just went from my ultimates and my shield's gonna be pretty much unbreakable look at that you can't even break the shield because he it was a 900k shield so it's gonna take 15 percent of that make my shield mega strong now i kind of misplayed on this one because i did try to go for throwing our ult control and i think i was like attack lord as well from the black wolf but it's fine because what i'm going to do is just pretty much try to push from an ultimate as much as i can just for the next stage for the black wolf so i want to try to get rid of him as soon as possible as well so i really don't mind um, taking a few hits especially because i didn't pull a, a stance rule kind of crazy i didn't pull a stance rule while having two stance move units but it's fine okay see it's like damage now we'll be able to get rid of them we don't really need Thonar card. Like again, Thonar, you don't need Deuce for her. Like I got like two six and stuff like that. Like, dude, she do not chase no Deuce on her. Like chasing Deuce on her is crazy. Man, what time is it? It is pretty late. It's like 1 a.m. Like I would just like, I don't know. It's the weekend, so I don't really have nothing to do. So I was just like pretty much trying to play against the deer. I said a deer, the wolves, dude, you know, I'm tired. Play against the wolves with like different comps. Like I had so many other teams' ideas that I wanted to try, but it didn't like work out for me. It, it's just that what you guys gotta understand is that with the wolf, they're super tanky. So that's why I would most part of people will be like, yo, you might need dupes, stuff like that, because the wolf is just mega tanky. Like I don't know why they made it so tanky. All right, <laughs> maybe have like one million HP with like 40k defense, like. Bruh. But again, when I use this team, guys, I literally beat all floors with like um pretty much not as many resets. Like it was like 40 minutes. It's pretty easy to beat it with this team. Again, I I do have 66 Freyer, so maybe and 66 King. So you probably can be like, yo, I'm really because you had 66 characters. That might be true. I I'm not gonna lie, that might be true. Because um, 6-6 six, six characters do speed up the, the time of clearing the wolves. Now, I did get the... I think this is like the worst one, but some people say it's not really. Like, Amazing told me that it is not the, the worst one to get. Which is like, he increased, they increased the attack power per debuff on you by 5%. But I, I started to realize, like, with Freyr, you don't really get into me debuffs. Especially with this, this team in general. Like, you don't get to me debuffs to be applied to you. Because most of the, the debuffs that be applying are the ignite ones. And Freyr kind of like stops that from happening, the, those ignites. And as you can see, we reduced all that damage taken. And he can't break the shield at all. Like, bro, this is kind of far. You know, to have a shield that strong where they can't even break it is clutch. And now we're just trying to reset our hand. Hopefully we can get some run heal cards so I can heal up. Finally. But it's alright if we don't because um again, floor three is usually the easiest one. 
As you can see, I got no brilliant cards. So I gotta hope I don't take too much damage from the boy Freer. Now he is gonna get a revive, so I just end up just attacking. Just going crazy with cards. Because again, he does have a revive. And now we're just gonna finish it off. Yeah. See, we we took so much damage. Yeah, guys, we took so much damage with this team, alright? <laughs> again, I like this team. I liked it. I liked it. It was pretty fun. And the crazy thing about this is that this is coming from a guy who just a couple of days ago just finally beat the wolves. Like when I when I was playing against the Wolves, yes, I had the comps that was set up for it, but it was just such a hassle on defeating the Wolves. But as I've been using the new Thornar, it feels a lot easier. I can't lie. It feels a lot easier. Now, again, we're doing the same thing where I'm pretty much trying to push for my ultimates on King. Um, but I started with the three attack cards. Now, I also posted like a video with me um, clearing like the Wolves with with Scotty without using Freya and I'll also Bronio. People was like, yo, man, it's still a skip, you know, it's still gonna require a lot of RNG. Guys, like it's all the, the wolves, it seemed like they had unless they change a lot of the gimmicks that apply to the wolves and stuff like that. Like it's not even the passives that are bad, all right. It's just the wolves in general. Unless they do something about that, it's it's always gonna be RNG. Alright, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's always gonna be RNG for the most part. So you might as well just like bite the bullet and be like, yo, yes, I'm going to be dealing with some RNG and if I want to deal with it or not, you know, because I see some of you people be like, yo, they be like, yo, man, I'm just going to like skip because if once you skip, I'm already knowing what's going to happen. You're going to end up next time they might come around, maybe as an unfeatured, you're not going to pull it. Or you're gonna be trying to think that you're gonna try to pull the new Thornar off of like tickets and stuff, and you're gonna be wasting so many opportunity. You're gonna be wasting so many tickets trying to chase her. Okay, this is the thing that's gonna happen. You're gonna just be chasing this character and not pulling her. Cause I've seen the thing. I've seen what happened with Miguelda. I've seen it happen with Yormiganer. So you're gonna be chasing for the most part. And like, you're I, I'm, the only reason why I'm trying to like push so hard about this because I don't want to see you guys like struggle and complain that you don't get the cards, you don't get the, you don't get to beat the wolves, especially when you get like the cool relics that are gonna be coming out, like maybe with like a Soma Meliodas or, um, you know, other demons, you know. Like I want everybody to like at least have a, a opportunity of being able to defeat the wolves. All right, infects, cool, and we're able to um, get rid of it. Now, for the most part, I just I started looking at my hand. I was like, "Yo, I'm just gonna push for Freya Ultimate," which he does freeze you. Oh yeah, I also forgot to say I I do have the new artifact set. Oh, uh, cause I also been seeing people talk about that as well. Like, yo. I don't have the new artifact set. He, yeah, the new artifact set, it's godly. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I forgot to mention that, but yeah, it's godly. Uh, I'm sorry to be that guy, but yeah, it's true. It's really good. It is really good. Like, look at this. Not being able to get frozen is just so good. Oh my God. Holy snap. That is just so amazing. Now, this is the good one where pretty much whoever gets hit with a taunt is going to lose like 30% attack related stats. And he's pretty much going after Brunhill for the most part. Yeah, Brunhill hit with it. And then I realized like Brunhill has like 30, 34k attack, anyways. Like, he's still going to hit hard regardless. 
Yeah, so like, she's not hitting cap though, like she would usually would, but she's still hitting pretty hard. So I didn't really mind having that um thing on her. And I think it's gonna hit like Thonar. Let's see. Uh, no, it's Freya. Again, it was all already over anyways. I just pretty much spam my attack cards with Brunheal. Call it a day, because this one he doesn't get a revive. And that was GG, man. Um, again, I did like, I did like this team, but I don't know because like I got super lucky with this team or, or not. Like again, like I like I said, I cleared this like 40 minutes, and I didn't have a really a problem of like resetting and stuff like that. Like you've probably seen it. Like yo, I didn't. I went through, like this whole run. But I'll reset in from floor two and up, you know. But um, I, actually, I, yeah, I reset like one time on floor floor two, and then after that, I pretty much didn't. I didn't have to reset on floor three, or floor one. Floor two was the only one I had to reset because my freaking Thonar was had low HP. But yeah, guys, this Thonar, pretty clutch. Um, I I want to try other different comps or different type of characters to use. Like maybe I don't know Kusak or something like that. I don't know. I, I just want to be weird. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, comment down below some cool ideas that would be nice for the wolves to use, and um, maybe I'll try it out. Never know. This really, guys. I'm out. Peace.